Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Estimate the square root manually. So, first of all, I give you an example. For example, we say how to find the square root 18. As we know, square root 18 is not a perfect square. So to estimate square root 18, in this video I just uh, show you uh, to estimate square root into uh, one decimal place, okay? Because square root 18, you can say, you estimate the one digit, you say, okay, because square root 16 equals 4, right? So square root 18 must be greater than 4. So we can write square root 18 is greater than square root 16 but less than which one is the next perfect square root? 25. Because square root 18 is greater than 4 and less than 5. So because square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5. We choose two numbers. These two are perfect square root. That's why the number we estimate is must be between 4 and 5. So we can, first uh, example I can show you from the number line. See, this is the number line. <coughs> this one I say, this is uh, 16, which is square root 16, and 25. From 16 to 25, I need to have nine space, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a square root 25 which is this one is 4, so it's 16 equals 4, square 25 is 5. So square root 18, we can label it from 16 to 25. This is the square root 18 here. 17, 18, this is the 19, 20, right? So this is the 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we can see the square root 18 in this spot, which is between 4 and 5, closer to 4. And also we can say there are two units from 16 to 18, um, total from 16 to 25, total is 9 units. So we can use the ratio, so that's why the square root 18 equals 4 plus 2 units over, this is a 9 units, so 9 over 2 is 0 0.2 repeating, so this one is 4.2 if we keep one decimal place, it's a four point, almost a 4.2, maybe a little bit greater than 4.2, but we just estimate to one decimal place. Okay, using this method is, uh, I think, is better to one decimal place. So if square root of 18 is approximate equal to 4.2, so we can use calculate to find square root 18 equals to this one is 4 point 4.24 so 4.2 right a little bit greater than 2.4.2 okay this is the first example and we'll look at the second example we can see let's say let's try the square root 42 
square root of 42 <coughs> is between which two number? You estimate that the square root of 42 almost if 6 squared is 36 and 7 squared is 49. That's why square root of 42 is greater than 6 less than 7, right? So which is greater than 6 less than 7. So that's why you see the square root of 42 equals 6 plus a decimal. So we can use another number line to see. In this case, I say from 6, this is, uh, let's say, this is uh, 36, square root of 36, which is uh, 6. And from 36 to 49, there are 13 space. So we make, this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this one is 49. So now 42 is 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 here. This is square root 42 here. Count unit. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So even you can 42 minus 36 is 6 unit. All over 13 unit. That's why this is equals to 13, 6 unit. And this will give us estimate. We're not going to calculate this one. Say 6 over 13 is estimate, this is, we can say, is 12, 6 over 12. But 6 over 12 make this one is 0.5, but this one is 13. So that's why this is 6.4 something, but we can say estimate 6.5, close to 6.5. If we keep one decimal place, we say is 6.5. Let's say square root 42 equals to 6.48, right? 6.48, pretty close. So this is the second example. And after this one, actually, now we know that the way the strategy, we don't need every time draw number line. It takes time, which is no from 36 to 49, only total is 13 number. And from 36 to 42 is 6, which is 6 over 13. So that's why the next I show you the other, uh, the easy way just uh, directly without using, uh, without using the number line. Let's do this one. Let's say, what about square root? 110, big number, right? So, we say because 110 we say close to 100, that is greater than 100. So then we can say because square root 10 is greater than square root 100, which is, uh, which is this is 10, 10, and less than 11, right? because 11 squared equals 121. So that's why this one equals 10 plus uh, decimal. This decimal is, say, from 100 to 121, total is 21 unit. From 100 to this one is 10 unit. So this is where you can close to 10 over 20, so which is 10.5 round up to 10.5. Actually, this is less than 20, 0 0.5, right? So, can show you 110 equals to, this one equals to 10.48, which is very close to 10.5, right? So, 
uh, maybe we need we can do another example. Let's say square root eighty four. And so 86. So square root 86, you can say square root 86 is greater and less. As we know, 9 times 9 is 81. So this is greater than 81, less than, greater than 9, less than 10, which is 100, right? So it's 9 plus something and from 81 to 100 it is 19 units from 81 to 86 is 5 units so this case gave us 9 point because 5 over 19 we can estimate 19 close to 20 and this is a 5 over 20 is 0 0.25. So give us, because 5 over 19 is greater than 5 over 20. 5 over 20 give us 0 0.25. So that's why we estimate this is close to 0 0.3, so 9.3. Yeah. Check the answer. Square root eighty six equals to nine point two seven. Nine point two seven very close to nine point three, right? So this is the estimate to one decimal place, really close. So this is presented by wise guys. Thank you.